Hello everybody, welcome to the Makeup by Ruth show. My name is Rose Ntongondu Karibuni Sana. It's a new year, new things, new topics. I am so excited. Now, in this show, we aim to train you, to teach you. By the time you're done with the episode, you've learned something new. So some of you have been sending me messages, sending us so many queries like, how to use eyeshadows, how to use bronzers, how to use lipsticks. Now we've covered some of these things in the show, but this year we cover so much more. Now, bronzers. Like, do you have a bronzer in your handbag? So many women have so many things in their handbags that, but don't know how to use them. What is a bronzer number one? Do you know how to use it? Do you have a highlighter? Highlighter, bronzer, luminizer, same thing, okay? Now you need to understand how to use different products. So many women carrying so many products using them the wrong way. Doesn't necessarily mean they are fake, okay? Now, if you have any makeup product you don't know how to use, watch every episode of Makeup by Rose and you're going to learn so much more, I promise you. Now, let's talk about bronzers. We have so many bronzers, different types. We have bronzers for the face, we have bronzers put in lipsticks, bronzers put in eyeshadows, but in this episode, we're talking about face bronzers, okay, or luminizers, Moshai nose, you know, the things that you put and get that glow. But how do you use it? Where do you place it, okay? So I will be showing you how to actually use this product. I will show you like how it feels. I will tell you the right products to buy and the right way to use it, so keep it here. Welcome back to the show. So now, before I we went on break, I told you I'll be showing you a few products, like the mostly commonly used bronzers, okay? So there are many different types of bronzers. We have powder bronzers, we have liquid bronzers. Depends with the company, okay? Now, the right thing you need to do is whenever you buy a product, ask to be shown how to use it. A bronzer is used for the face, okay? Today we're talking about face bronzers. Now, we have a liquid bronzer like this one, okay? Now, with this particular one, you actually mix it with your foundation you can mix it with your with your moisturizer you can mix moisturizer is mafuta for those that don't understand most of you say mafuta but we just mean a moisturizer a moisturizer will nourish your skin and do all that so if you don't like using foundation every day if you don't like using foundation at all you can actually use a bronzer to give your face that glow okay a bronzer just brings the whole look together gives you that healthy glow healthy bronze okay so that's a liquid bronzer now this is one particular brand many different brands look different Okay, you have this other one, still the, the same, but now the color is different. So bronzers again have uh, made to suit different complexions. So like for lighter skin, uh, skin tones, you can use this one. Okay, you can see you can use it on its own or mix it with your bronzer, I'm sorry, mix it with your moisturizer or mix it with your foundation. You have to know how to use these products. Don't just buy a product and put it in your handbag, okay? And then we have the powder bronzer. Now, for most companies, this is exactly how it looks, by the way. It has that mushaino in it, but very fine particles, okay? It doesn't have the very big particles. You can use it on your cheekbones, you can use it on the bridge of your nose, on your chin, just to give your face that healthy glow. The whole idea of using a bronzer is to give your face that healthy glow. When you look at a lady wearing a bronzer, she looks beautiful, especially a pregnant women. When a, pregnant, uh, when a woman is pregnant, you tell her you have that pregnancy glow. So the same thing for women who wear bronzers on the daily, okay? To give yourself that healthy, beautiful glow it looks your face looks more beautiful when you have a bronzer on so we are going to show you how to use it on a model in the next episode in the next segment sorry we're going to show you how to use it and number one the model will actually tell us how she feels and you, you yourself at home you'll see how she looks in the next segment we're going to show you how to use this product okay and then we're going to do it on a model it's very important that you guys see it done on someone on an actual lady and we can even hear her say how she feels and then you, you at home will see how she looks it's very important so that remember in every segment we teach you how to use different makeup products how to use different uh, cosmetics cosmetics is a whole okay cosmetics means every beauty product every beauty thing okay we have nails we have hair but we mostly focus on the face and the skin okay so keep it here
Welcome back to the show. Now, as promised, we have a beautiful model. Yeah, her name is Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi. Karibu to the show. Thank you. So now, uh, the biggest issue that, like I told you guys, is uh, with bronzers, you don't know how to use it. You don't know where to place it. You don't know which ones are right for you. You don't know how to blend them with your product. So, Karen, do you have any issues with bronzer or you know how to use bronzers? I actually don't know where to place the so bronzer. placement is yes. a problem. Okay, placement. awesome, awesome. And the, she's in the right place, okay? We teach you, we show you how to do it. Now, the most exciting part is this segment where we actually do a demo. I can tell you even for two hours, but if I don't show you, you will never learn, okay? Now, when it comes to bronzers, number one, apart from the products, you need the tools. The tools are the brushes, the blenders, you know, the sponges. Now, having the right tools is everything, okay? You might have the product, but tools are very important. Now, one of the products when it comes to bronzer that is really important is the fan brush. This brush right here. Now, a fan brush can come in like a bigger form depending on the company, but this is the shape. This is how it's supposed to look. And now, it's shaped this way in an angle form for detail. And it's meant for powder bronzers, okay? Now, I want to show you how to actually use it. Now, this is a bronzer. Now, I chose this color because it's going to go with Karen's complexion. It's a darker version. Now, lighter versions like this one will go with lighter complexions, okay? So now, the way you take your powder, you have to angle your brush like that, okay? Grab a little bit. Now, you can keep adding as much as you need. Now. Product placement, this is where you do it, on the cheekbone, and this is how you do it. You can see it, okay? You don't need a lot. Now, depending on where you're going, do you have an evening function? Do you have a party? Are you going on a date? Doesn't matter, you know, you have to understand where you're going to know how much product you need. So if it's like for runway, like when, when we're doing fashion shows, we do more bronzer. If it's for a date, you have to do more bronzer, you know, to look more glowing, okay? You need to do it on your cheekbone. You can add as much as you want. Now remember, when you're doing it during the day, get, do not carry too much product, okay? We said evening and the makeup, the light minimizes product, okay? So in the evening, carry more. During the day, use less, okay? So we'll do it on the other side. And this is how you brush it. You can add as much as you need, but don't do too much. Now you have the option of actually even coming back with a powder and covering it up, okay? You can see the way her cheeks are glowy. That's the whole point, okay? You can choose to leave it like that, add more, but this is enough. Now, if Karen was going on a date, she can choose to also do like on, on the bridge of the nose. This is the bridge of the nose, okay? Right here. On the tip of the nose, right there. So we do the bronzer where the light hits, okay? Almost the same place is where we do highlighter. Okay, you can do it on the cupid's bow. This right here is a cupid's bow. You can do it on top there. You can do it on the chin. Okay. You can actually choose to mix it with your foundation. Now I'm just showing you like where to place it for right now, but you need to actually blend your product. Now, if you need to blend it a little bit more, you can get your beauty blender. Okay. Maybe add some powder or Karen already has foundation. Just blend, blend it into Karen's foundation. Okay. You're trying to get that natural feel, like that. The Beauty Blender sets the product even better, okay? You can add a little bit on this side, like that. Don't do it on the forehead. Now, this is what happens. When you do bronzer on the forehead, it looks like you have the mafuta mafuta on your face. Eh? So keep it only on this part. Blend it up like that. Some people don't like doing it on the cupid's bow, so it depends with you, depends with what you're going for, okay? So right there, that's where you place your powder bronzer. Now, when it comes to your liquid bronzer, so I will actually go over one side. So the liquid bronzers, like this is one brand that, that I really like. You get like a few drops of the bronzer, like that. Now, not every liquid bronzer will be packaged in this way. You can see like this one has a dropper, okay? So, I love using the back of my hand as a palette because I'm going to use a sponge, okay? Then you get as much as you need. Now, the good thing with this, the particles are very small, so it won't look like very 
very weird okay so this is why you place it just where I place the powder bronzer right here now because she had on foundation you have to really blend it in the whole point is to give her that glow now with with the difference between powder bronzer and liquid bronzer the powder bronzer actually if you have like a, a, a like a late evening you can actually do it all over the face but you have to mix it with your foundation okay so you can see you can actually blend it a little bit more like all over the face just to give that glow now Karen will come back and put a powder on top now I just want to show you the effect of the bronzer okay can see that glowy part now especially for people with like dry skin or ashy skin this is perfect for you so you have to make sure especially for people that have dry or ashy skin make sure you mix it with something either your moisturizer or your uh, foundation so it doesn't look too ashy the good thing with bronzer because of the of the little particles it actually especially for an evening event it makes you look like that dewy look, dewy, uh, glowy, bronzy look, gives you a really nice feel. Now, especially for people with dry skin, I would recommend this, even every day, okay? But during the day, remember, use it minimal. Minimal, minimal, minimal. And you have to blend it really nicely. Now, this is a beauty blender, you have to know how to use it. And for the beauty blender, make sure it's a little bit wet, so that it, it breaks your product visory, visory, okay? So you can see, when you look at this side, the powder bronzer, you only put it, on the cheekbone the the liquid bronzer you have the option of actually putting it all over the face now remember this you can have the product but without the tools doesn't work the same so always make sure you have the right products Karen how do you what do you think which one would you prefer powder or liquid I actually prefer powder mm -hmm. I just think it blends better into my skin it yeah. looks better with my foundation yeah okay awesome awesome but you see the now do you know where to place it now yes um mm -hmm. slightly above the cheekbone yeah now like this i've, I've done like all over because it's a liquid like i'm assuming like you are going on a date you know you want to look you know glowy beautiful Cindy, so you know how to use it now yeah I do. awesome awesome so remember this in every episode in every segment we teach you and make sure you always have a pen and a paper. We say that in every episode. Make sure you have a pen and a paper so that you go over your notes. You know, this is like a class, okay? I hope you guys have learned and thank you so much for always supporting us. Keep giving us your questions. And there's two ladies, I remember, Cecilia asked about eyeshadow. We'll actually be talking about that in the next episode. And the lady that asked about the bronzer, uh, I hope you've learned something. I hope you have learned something and I hope that you use the products the right way. Thank you so much for always tuning in and I hope you've learned. And for those that don't follow us on social media, it's Makeup by Rose on Facebook, Makeup by Rose on Instagram, Makeup by Rose even on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to always tune in to UTV for exciting episodes every week. And always remember with makeup artistry and beauty, you have to learn product knowledge first before you actually purchase the products. Thank you so much and see you in the next episode.